One common application of functions is something called net change. The net change of the value in the value of a function as the input changes from a to b is given by f of b minus f of a. This just says what's the output at b and then minus what was the output at a and that tells us our net change. So let's look at an example. Let f of x equal x squared. Find the net change in the value of f between the given inputs. First we'll do from 1 to 3. So we're changing here from 1 to 3. That means a is 1 and b is 3. And our net change is f of b minus f of a. So that is uh, f of 3 minus f of 1. And now we use our definition of a function, the, our function, which is x squared. And that's going to be 3 squared minus 1 squared. And this gives us 8. For part b, changing from negative 2 to 2, again, f of b minus f of a. So this is f of 2 minus f of negative 2. Okay. Notice that it's f of the larger number minus f of the smaller number. Okay. And then we go and plug those into our function. So 2 squared minus negative 2 squared equals, this is 4 minus 4, which is 0. So the net change from negative 2 to 2 is 0. Now this doesn't mean that the function doesn't do anything between negative 2 and 2. It just tells us that it ends up at 2 in the same spot that it was at negative 2. Okay, the net change just takes into account starting and ending and doesn't really care about anything in between.